Doctorine. One Piece card game, OPO8, two legends, two boxes to strip them. This week we're getting right into it. As always, my story for this set, what I'm talking about with OPO8, is becoming a content creator. And um, last week we talked about, you know, why to do it, why not to do it, and my experience with it. Um, this week, I want to talk a little bit about my formulas. So, um, for those of you that are aspiring content creators, if you decide to do it, it takes a lot of time figuring out how to set everything up, how to record, how to edit, all that stuff. Oh, bless them. I only blessed them the one in the last video. Whoops. Uh, so really what I do is I, and I'm going to warn you, opening this set is a bummer. We already opened the treasure rare, so like really the only really cool thing I feel like at this point is alt arts that we really need and um, a manga really would be cool, I guess. I think manga really is going for like 500 bucks right now, which is really bad. That's probably the least expensive that a manga rare has been on pre-release ever. So I would label this set as a bust overall. Um, anyway, so the way that I record my videos is I use a microphone, which is right here in front of me. I use a HyperX Quadcast. I use my cell phone that records my hands, and I use a ZV-1 digital camera. My digital camera is on a camera arm, and it is mounted to my desk now. I have a table arm. It's an alt-art leader. It looks... Oh, is this king? Yes! Yeah, didn't pull that one. So I'm very happy to get that. I think I'm just missing Chopper now. Because I think there's just six leaders in this set. And I got four of them in the last case. So yeah, so I use a ZV-1 digital camera. The digital camera um, sits on an arm that's mounted to my desk now. And then I have two different arms for my microphone and for my camera. The downside of mounting things to your desk, especially when you're doing card opening videos, is anytime your hand hits the desk, everything shakes. So you gotta be kind of light on your hands, hope that you don't hit too many things. I kind of balance a lot of stuff, like I'm kind of holding my hands right above the level of my desk while I'm opening, so you get a little bit of shoulder pain after doing like a really long opening. I'm still figuring out my lighting setup. Right now I'm really relying on my overhead lights um, for this, but it's good to have a light that's, ooh, Koreha. Doctor, Doctorine. I am definitely gonna try out the Chopper deck. It seems fun. I wanna try it in Zoro. I heard Zoro is really good. Oh, and that reminds me, I forgot to even plug Kaizoku cards. So this is my card that I made. This is ST13 Luffy, it's double-sided. This is my favorite Luffy art. You can see it behind my shoulder right there, drawn by Kevin Muniz, it's written on the card right there. Um, but this is my favorite leader to play right now. Um, I pretty much only play Luffy leaders. I have a sickness in this card game. I played Red Luffy for a really, 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 really long time. Now I pretty much just play Black Ale Luffy, occasionally Red Purple Luffy, but I do also still play Red Luffy. But this is available at Kaizoku Cards. You can check it out. It's my website, just like this, kaizokucards.com. I make these cards. It really helps out. I'm thinking about selling some sealed product on cards of cards also. So let me know if that's something you'd be interested in, interested in getting like a signed booster box. You know, uh, you type in your name and I'll write you a little note on the box and sign it because I'm thinking about moving some of my collection because I got to pay for this house. And that was my plan. Queen, it's a triple hit box. That is three hits in a box, which means those packs are dead. I'm also thinking about selling dead packs but I am sort of on the fence about that because I feel like there's a little bit of an ethical boundary there. You know, I feel like if somebody, if I'm saying I'm buying dead packs, people can just buy the dead packs and then not tell people they're dead packs and that kind of sucks buying dead packs. But there could still be SRs and stuff. So, you know, you could still get some reasonable hits out of things. Um, but I'm, I know that in like pretty much all my packs, there's no, like alt arts or secrets left because I pull all of those in my YouTube videos and I know the ratios of the boxes. So anyway, the way that I do my content, you know, I'll set up my content because I have about probably 20 minutes in my week where I can make a video. Once a week, I don't think I can spend more than 20 minutes making a video. If I do have an hour or two hours, I will do a content push and I will edit as many videos as I can and line them up and schedule them. So basically what I do is I have my, as I said, I have my, uh, my phone camera, my ZV-1, and my microphone. 
and I push record on, I use a program called Audacity on my computer. My computer's right here next to me and my microphone's plugged into my computer. I press record on all three of them and as soon as I press record, my friend Steve taught me this. Steve, if you're listening, thank you. I still use this trick, I clap. And when you clap, the clap creates a signature in the uh, recording file because my ZV-1 and my phone are actually both recording audio, but the audio from the camera sounds better than both of those. This looks shiny. Ooh, S snake. Nice. That's a uh, two on my way to a play set of these bebes. Um, they all are recording sound. So I get a sound signature from the camera, the phone, and the microphone. And I use that to correlate all three um, clips because I want all three clips to be coordinated so that when I am making the video, uh, it all is happening at the same time, right? The, the hand camera and the face camera and the microphone are all playing at the same time. So that clapping trick is really, really great. I don't think we're gonna get any more hits from this. This is, I feel like this is just a two hit box, which is such a bummer about this set. Half the boxes in the case are just two hit boxes. That's like, I don't think there's been a set like that in quite some time. And it's a real bummer to open a box and you just get two hits. I guess there's two alt art dong, but honestly, they should put an alt art dong like the Yamato dong in every box. I mean, not in the Yamato. In, in the PRB, how they have like the one golden dong, every set should have a golden dong version of the dong from that set. And there should be one in one of the boxes in every case. Like, you should be guaranteed to get that. It wouldn't be that hard to do. You just make some gold lines and put some texture on, you know, these dawn that they have in every set. And I feel like that would be a really cool, collectible, fun thing to look for. Um, I just think the more stuff they add like that to sets, the more fun it is to open and the more people go looking for it and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, that's kind of how I get my clips correlated. And I'm almost done with these packs. So we're gonna continue this conversation next week as I continue telling you my story about being a content creator and how I do it. That's it, yeah, two hit box. One th we've opened four boxes in this case so far and three of them have been two hit boxes. I guess that means half of the two hit boxes are out of the way. So our pulls for this video were a secret rare Kylo and Lin, Lin. this card's nuts. Uh, we got an S snake, this card's really pretty. Very, very pretty. Look, see those hearts and the cool texture in there. Our queen searcher, which does not search queen. So in uh, black, purple, king, you can't search the queen blocker with this, which is such a good card. Uh, Doctorine and the king leader. Very cool. I am a dentist. I can't end without a dental tooth tip. My dental tooth tip is going to be an anatomical one this time. And I've told you this before, but the tip of your tooth kind of has two tips, right? So whenever you're talking about teeth, you have to talk about the orientation, whether you're talking about the upper or lower, posterior, anterior, but this is called the incisal edge. And then the tip of the root is called the apex. You may know that from one of my previous videos, but I might ask that in a live stream sometime, maybe like a quiz question, because I do like asking quiz questions in my live stream. I'm Joku DMD, thanks for coming by. Check out Kaizoku cards and I'll see you all next week.